What's up YouTube? Back again today with another video and in this one we're going to be taking a look at the newly released software by Anthropix which is Portrait Pro 22. I've been waiting for this one to drop for a few weeks now. It's finally arrived. They were kind enough to send me a copy for me to try out and to use. Thank you very much Anthropix. Peter, well done. Cheers my man. And um, anyway, so I don't get paid for these videos I do nothing like that it's just my own personal opinion on how I use the software and I show you what I do with the software blah 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 anyway all that aside if you want to get this software yourself check out the link in the description as always I've got a 15% voucher discount code whatever you want to call it use it at the checkout and save yourself some money we all want to do that as well, don't forget, if you want to try this software, they do let you use it as a trial version, first of all, see if it's for you, and then if you are happy with it, just go ahead and purchase it, again, using my discount code, and you will save yourself 15%. Now, okay, so they sent me the Portrait Pro Studio Max, which is like their flagship version. It's got quite a few new features. We're just going to have a quick run through and do a quick edit of a picture today. And then I will, over the next few days, have a, an in-depth play with the software. And, um, yep, get some more videos out to you guys. So let's see if it's uh, going to be beneficial to you as it is to me. Again, we're going to jump straight in and make sure the all the areas are correctly lined up which in this case it's just missed a little bit of the eye a little bit of the eyebrows if I do go quiet I do apologize I'm trying to concentrate as well okay so we're just gonna get them lips moved over just a tad as well bring this gin area there is quite a few new features to go over in this software um, we're just gonna have a quick skim through today and see how well it does straight off the bat with this image we've got on the screen now okay so again if you've seen in my other videos I do like to turn everything off first of all and then crack on with the things I like to use okay there's a lot of things in the software I don't use a lot but there is a lot of things I do use all the time um, okay so with this picture what I'll do first of all we're gonna have a look in the shaping I think in the next video I will get the both software by side by side the 2021 version and the 22 version I'll get them both running and we'll just go through every section and see what's different um, but like I said I'm just going to do a quick skim through skim through the software and um, see if I can see anything when it's ever got face shape so okay so first off we've got this forehead area slider and the jawline slider um, which are new in this software and in the eyes we've got eyebrow shape okay so the, this is new these are new, uh, yeah, these are new in the eyes, eyes widening, left and right, that's the same. Eye expanding, what does that do? Okay, okay. These might come in handy for some pictures. Upper lip, lower lip, expression, expression and blur lip line. Okay, so what is that doing? Let's have a quick look. Blur lip line. So I can't really see if that's doing much there. Maybe it's not the right sort of picture. Okay, so we'll come back to that one. That one doesn't seem to do anything on this picture. Okay, so we've got plump lips, top and bottom. Yeah, okay, that's new nose no shape short on nose blah 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 yeah okay slim the nose brilliant that's all new 
neck and shoulders. Now this is a new feature. Okay, tucking the neck. neck oh, this is good. Yeah, okay, if I want to just stretch the neck up just a little bit. Slim the neck. Some of these features, again, on this model, we wouldn't need to do anything. Shoulders. Yeah, we're not going to get the shoulders in because the shoulders aren't in this picture. Okay, shoulder. Yeah, this is good. I like these features so far. Head forward. Okay, yep. Fine. That was in the last one. Expression was in. Hair volume. Is, I do use the hair volume a lot. It does add a lot to a picture. Okay, so hair volume's the same. Hairline. Okay, that's good. Right, okay, so in this one, for this picture, what I would do is, like I said, we're just going to do a quick edit. We're just going to get the jawline moved a little bit, and I do want to go back to the hair volume. Get that volume up just a little bit. I'm not going to do anything with the hairline. Ah, she's got big eyes anyway, so I wouldn't really do anything. But again, maybe one of the eyes is closed a little bit more than the other one so we'll just bring them up to be the same I expanding yeah okay it's clever that right okay so like I said we're just doing a quick edit and go through some of the features skin smoothing anything changed in there hide forever uh, sharpen no 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 that all looks the same so we'll just give the face a quick going over. I'm just going to smooth out those paws just a little bit. And I'm going to close that one down. Makeup, what have we got new in here? Lipstick texture is the same. Mascara. Hide forever. Let's have a look. I'm just trying to skim through them, see what we've got different without getting both software by, side by side, which I'll do in the next one. I just wanted to get a quick play on this software and get this video up just so you could um, have a quick rundown, basically. Let's have a look in this one. Yeah. They're all the same. Clean eyes, white eyes, left eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the same. Okay. And hair. Looks the same as well. Mouth area. Teeth whiten. Yeah, we've got that one. Comes in handy. Sharpen the mouth area. Top. Oh, okay. Sharpen mouth, top and lower lip. Sharpen the teeth. Nose contrast. Moisten lips. Lip hue. So the moisten lips has always been there. So that's good. Just going to get some fill light on this hair as well. Not too much. Just knock that down to fill light where we at. Master fade, we'll just get that down just a tad. Okay. Right, okay, so. There's a lot of features to go through, I think, in this. Uh, so we'll have to do that in another video. So I'm just going to do a quick edit of this picture. Once again, just to show you how quick... We can do things with this software for some really good results. Okay, so we're going to clean the eyes up. Bring that down just a little bit more. I want to go into the makeup section. And we're going to give us some mascara. So we're going to highlight them eyes, as you can see there. highlight them eyes just a bit more and we'll, go, we'll keep it on that one actually now we'll try what do the false eyelashes look like they're nice 
I like them ones as well. Let's have a look. Okay. Yeah. I'm liking that. Close that one down. Again, like I said, we're just doing a quick edit. We'll get those eyes popping. Just to, she had really dark eyes, but we're just going to brighten them irises just a tad. Just about there. The eyelid, eyelid. What the hell's an eyelid? Eyelid feature is really good for just adding a little bit more depth to the eye. So we're going to bring that up as well. I don't want to change the eye color on this occasion. Mouth and nose. Okay, tap it. No, 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 no. We're going to leave all those ones for now. We don't need them. Skin smoothing. Let me just have a look at that picture from there. Just move that shine just a little bit. Imperfections. Remember, folks, as well, when you're using this software, never go too far. Um, you see a lot of people that use things on Mac settings and they do look silly. It is a good help, this software. Um, but yeah, always remember, don't go too far. Right, so we just want a little bit of left shadow and we want a little bit of right shadow. I'm just going to give her their eyes a little bit more of a smoky look and a little bit of a pout. I'm going to sculpt that nose just a bit more. And boom. Less than 10 minutes. We've done that. Yeah. Uh, again, this software is always um, a winner for me. So we can darken the chin area now if we want to. Now, let's have a look. We don't need to change anything there. Now then, in the lighting and colouring, what else have we got? Right, okay, so we've got body contrast. Yeah, these were the ones I saw advertised. Now, obviously, it's not a full-length picture, so we can't really use any of that at the moment. But on a full-length picture, which I will try in another video. Um, yeah. I'm happy. That looks great. Okay. We're done. Don't forget, this is just the first of a few videos that we're going to be doing on this software. Before and after, and the new features of Portrait Pro 2022. Don't forget, link in the description. Get yourself 15% off. Again, as always, this software is a win. See you in the next one. Peace!